Welcome back. Now, whenever you create a list, you are going to want to make sure that the settings reflect how your prospects and customers become part of that list. And in order to make sure that those settings are what you want, you are going to go to the contacts area. And then you're going to see a list of your contact list. We are going to then go to this area where you'll see those three dots. You're then going to click the settings area. Once you actually get to the settings area, then you'll be able to work with the settings in the campaign. So for example, if you have not given your list a title, you can do that. And you can actually give your list a description. Now, your prospects will see this when they get ready to unsubscribe and it will actually help you if you want to make sure that they are not going to unsubscribe from your email by accident. Once you do that, you can actually choose a category and you can add in a logo. And once again, your actual prospect and customer are going to see this logo when they come to the page where they make a decision about whether or not they're going to say subscribe. You can then choose a link that your logo will lead to. And then this is the first of our general settings. We're going to go ahead and click save general settings. Once we do that, you'll want to go to the middle tab, the one that says subscriptions. And there are some issues that you want to take a look at here. Now, if you want to receive a notification every time someone becomes part of your email marketing list, you can actually do that with this particular list or you can determine that this list is not one that you need to know about when someone signs up and you can actually untick this box. Now what you can also do is you can require extra confirmation in these two areas. So for example, if someone actually subscribes to your list from the web on any particular web page, you can require that that person actually does confirm with a double opt-in. You can do the same thing when you're actually using an API. What this will do is this will assure that everyone that becomes part of your email marketing list will actually be a double opt-in subscriber. In the next video, we're actually going to discuss the next step in this process, which is the confirmation. And this really needs to be separate from this discussion because there are a number of things that you'll want to make note of as you work through how you actually get people confirmed onto your email marketing list. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.